Hi everybody, this is Jean, and I have a very special person with me today. Um, Judy Hoynes is our gallery artist this time, and she and I have known each other for a long time. I've been buying her work for years, and I think you're really going to enjoy where she has taken her craft, and she has some very new things to share with us. So Judy, why don't you go ahead? Thank you, Jean. Um, the first piece here is called The Dress Lost, Found, and Mended. It's 28 by 30 framed, and it's $850. It includes a lot of um, little pieces of fabric that I have found that people have donated to me, um, even works from my closet. I've taken my blouses and coats and um, other paraphernalia and put these into the uh, picture. I, use, I like to work on paper, and I sew it right to the paper. I also do watercolor or acrylic. This one is all watercolor. And then I um, used a, uh, a stencil I made of little people, and then I stenciled in the people, and then I calligraphed some lines around it. Okay, and then the next one, this one is called The Dress, Lost, Found, Mended. And it is 28 and a half by 28 and a half and a 750. And this might be very obvious. The all these pieces in here are scraps from a serger, not mine, but someone else, a seamstress in town, that gave me um, all these beautiful scraps. And then I've uh, sewn them together, and then also tried some different things where I punched from the back side, so you can see these uh, pieces of paper that uh, the little. I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but it is texturized. You can feel, touch it, and it's. Uh, it's relief. It it's comes up from the paper. And then I did a, a watercolor of a uh, black uh, fox, which is actually in, um, in the Mount Bachelor area. Okay, and then the next piece is uh, Lost the Dress, Lost, Found, Mended. Number one, it's 30 by 25 and a half and a 750. And this started out as a monoprint that I carved out of a, a rubber block. And then um, I had took a piece of canvas, a whole, a whole log, like four yards of canvas, and drew a lot of horses, cut out the one that I liked the best, and it sewed it to the paper. And then this is a piece of uh, silk organza that I get at the Stitch and Pulse. It's the only place I can find it. And then I um, set it on top so that the uh, background would come through, and then I did a little bit of uh, stitching and uh, some watercolor um, on top of that. And this one was a, a really difficult piece. It just took forever to come together. It is a dress that uh, is partially there. You can see a little bit of it. Not all of these are supposed to be really clear that the dress is in there. It could be just so many little fragments of it. But this one is partially, um, it's been taken out. And then um, some other techniques of uh, transfer, uh, painting, stitching, and then some paper that I have stitched together, and, and some calligraphic, uh, semic writing, we call it. Uh, doesn't really mean anything. There are no real words there. Um, and then I've attached a little bit of an old uh, dictionary piece in there. And then uh, the artist statement, you might want to take a look, is the dress lost, found, mended. And this is what I'm saying, is during World War II, the motto was make, do, and mend. The art in the show reflects my interpretation of this statement. This mixed media art is not about perfection and beauty, and that's for sure. The art reflects my appreciation and enjoyment of the torn, the tattered, and the mended dress. Sometimes people with little means use their personal touch of recycling and mending, which often results in the opposite of the revered little black dress. The canvas and the frame dot reveals what may have happened to the dress between lost and found, and the dresses hanging from the wall, which we'll see in a little bit, reflect a sort of mended state of the dress. This one is a very experimental piece. It's called, uh, it's the same thing, uh, the dress lost, found, mended, number seven, 23 by 23 and a 600. This is a, a, an old vintage napkin that I uh, took some of my um, blocks and um, put acrylic paint on them and stamped them on there. And then did some drawing of horses. Horses, what I think might have been around in this area. 
um, thousands of years ago. And then this black uh, open cutwork type thing sitting on top represents a dress that's found its way into this uh, situation. And this one is called um, the dress Lost, Found, Mended, number six. And it's 32 by 30 and it's 850. This one is a lot of my favorite pieces of fabric and uh, this is a friend's wedding dress, part of her wedding dress. This is a vintage nap, uh, hand handkerchief. And this is a silk uh, top that uh, I think I found in a thrift shop and wore for many years. Then I've done a lot of um, hand stitching, uh, printing, uh, drawing. And then out on the outside is some more of those, uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you call them. I just take a, a, a cork, a wine cork, and put an embroidery needle in, and then punch from the other side right through it so you get some of that texture. And then my imaginary little people and my landscape, which the dress is situated in. In the bottom here, we have pieces of paper that have all been stitched together. And a piece from a very, very, very old book. This one is called The Dress Lost Found Mended, number eight, and it's 30 by 24, and it's 600. It's an owl, and there's a calligraphic piece in it. It says, when the owl sings, the night is silent. I, I just love that quote. And then this is an owl who's composed of so many different pieces of fabric that I had collected. And this piece just, I didn't do any drawing on that. It was already there. This one, I added some things to it, and then I added a watercolor night scene to it. Now, this one, you say, well, how does it relate to a dress? Well, here is the dress right here, and then there's people walking along. And this one is um, Lost, Found, Mended, 26 and a half by 30. It's 650. This is a watercolor sky, and then a watercolor Actually, I did watercolor on top of the fabric to give it uh, a little bit different color tones and um, values. And then I had used a, a special tool that I designed that's made out of a Coca-Cola bottle, a can that I shaped and then I fill it with ink and then I draw on it really quick to get these calligraphic lines. And then there's stitching on top and more of those little, uh, I, just, I still don't know what to call them, stipples, I guess and then some little figures walking around in the background. Then on the canvas, there's six small canvas pieces and they are, um, they can be, they're sold individually or you can buy them all, it's, it's up to you, but they're $50 and they're six by six. And they each have a dress that's been, um, where a dress has landed in this landscape and sometimes it's, it's, it's harder to see, but that isn't really the point. I just use the dress as a, a design element in these compositions. And it's acrylic, fabric, stitching, um, and that's about all, I guess. Okay, then the last part is the dress. Now, some of these might be wearable, <laughs> probably not. But anyway, it's, if, if you were in a hurry and sewing or you only found a portion of a dress, this could be just the portion of the dress that's hanging on the wall. This one is also not only an owl, that's been, I did an acrylic drawing of an owl on here, plus stitching. And then the back side also has some, uh, drawing and painting and some people on it. And then these little hangers are made out of a coated uh, wire. And then this one, which I really enjoy, <laughs> I love this. It's kind of like what I think would happen to most dresses when they got dropped into the landscape or the landfill. Um, this one is all pieces of fabric that I've all stitched together. So it's not one big piece of fabric. And then it has the back side too. So, but it is a dress that could actually go on a doll, but uh, I think it looks much better just hanging on this. 
And this is all kinds of fabric in here. And then this one, again, another this wedding dress happens to be here. A friend that I know had her uh, homecoming dress and she gave it to me. So I cut it out and there's an owl that appears here. This was from a, a really, really old uh, table topper, I think that was in my family. And then this is a lot of printing and painting on silk organza again. The silk organza works so nice on top of fabric because it lets any of the bottom uh, textures and colors show through. So this is in a state of uh, needing some repair, but that may be where it ends up. And the, this one is also all tiny, tiny little pieces of fabric that have been stitched together. And um, so it is also open up because it, this part just isn't finished and it maybe it just may end up looking like that. But the, there's all kinds of interesting um, textures and colors inside this, this dress. And these are all, the dresses are $50 each. And they're a variety of sizes, they're not very big. I think the biggest is about 16 or 18, and the rest are around, the other two are around 13 or 14 inches. Oh, and these are my hanging invention. This is from an old wood um, barn and um, madras. Uh, that was about 150 years old that I happened to collect the wood years and years ago. And then these old square nails were from an old farm hand, a farmhouse that I lived in when I was little. So I thought they made a, a neat little um, way to hang these up. And the nail hooks are not for sale. However, the dress and the wire form are for sale.